Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangla. I'm again back with a very, very interesting topic from my book, The Power of Self Talk. And today I'm going to talk about the power of visualization. And by the time this video will end, you'll understand what exactly is visualization, why it is important, and how we can effectively implement the visualization. Let me start with a very interesting story. This story is of a Jew person uh, who was arrested in Soviet Union at that particular time because he was thought that he is spying for America and he was put in a jail in Siberia and he was in jail for 12 long years. It was a small cell where he was put there with no light and nothing. So it was very difficult for him to survive. So he wanted to survive. So he thought that, let me do some physical activities wherever the place is there. But then what about the mind? What to do with respect to that? So he was fond of playing chess. So he said that, let me play chess in my men. But then the important question came in with whom he's going to play. So at that time, Gary Kasparov was very, very popular. So in his mind, he thought that every day I'm going to play with Gary Kasparov. So for 12 years, Every day, he was playing the chess game in his mind with Gary Kasparov and he was defeating him. After 12 long years, with some political intervention, finally he got released and he went back to Israel and become a cabinet minister. After many years, Gary Kasparov happened to go to Israel and there were some demonstration matches that were happening there. Wherein, you know, he was to play against say 5 players or 40 players, 1 is to 5, 1 is to 40. So in one of the game, the four players lost against him, but the fifth player actually won against Gary Kasparov. And that person was none other than Nathan Sharonsky, who was a prisoner in Soviet Union. So everyone was very surprised that how can Sharonsky can win against Gary Kasparov when he has no great record about the chess and all that. Then he said that for 12 years, 365 days, every day he was playing chess with Gary Kasparov in his mind and he was defeating him. So that's why it was very easy for him when actually he played today because he was very confident that today also he is going to win against Gary Kasparov. Well, Oprah Winfrey has very rightly said that anything you can imagine, you can create. So primarily when we talk about visualization, it's about that what we are thinking in our mind, whether it is real or not is not important, but whatever we visualize, that becomes a reality. One very interesting thing is that irrespective of whether we visualize ourselves or not, we actually keep on thinking throughout the day and night. So for example, if someone has insulted you once, so that person may have insulted you only once, but there is a very high possibility that maybe 100 times, 1000 times, or maybe a million times, we keep on thinking about that particular thing, that how that person can insult me. So we need to understand that the hurt which was coming from one insult that was given by that person was very small in comparison to the insult that we create in our mind and then we start feeling bad. So it's up to us that how we want to channelize this power of visualization in our mind. If you look into the players, especially the sports players, they are always using this particular technique to motivate them and to put their direction in such a way where they can get the desired result. In football, you must have seen that whenever there is penalty shootout, the goalkeeper moves right or left, irrespective of where the ball is going. And when that is happening, it's only because of that power of visualization that they visualize that okay now that person is going to hit the ball on right hand side or on the left hand side because there is a fraction of second on which the ball goes from one place to another so that is a power of visualization Muhammad Ali a very popular boxer has said very rightly he said that if my mind can conceive it and my heart can believe it then I can achieve anything whatever I want to do and in fact, personally, I've seen with myself that when I used to play bowling, so at that time, whenever I used to visualize that my hand is going straight and is going to hit the center in the pins, then most of the times I'm always successful. 
So that brings another interesting question that why visualization is very, very important. We all know that in this present time, we all are bombarded with so much information from social media. And majority of the time, rather than thinking in the right way, we are always thinking in the wrong direction. So irrespective of whether we want to visualize or not, we are visualizing, but most of the time we are visualizing in the wrong way. But if we can channelize our energy in the right way, then certainly we can use it in a very, very effective way. So for example, if someone has got a stage fright and then that person is preparing for some lecture, but then while preparing that lecture, if that person is in his mind thinking that no, I'm going to fumble, I'm going to forget something or I'm going to make mistakes, then irrespective of whatever preparation that person may have done, when the actual, when that person will go on stage, that person is going to fumble many times. On the other end, if a person keeps on visualizing in his mind that I'm going to stalk very straight, I will be confident, I'll remember everything, there is a very high possibility that when that person will go on stage, the results will be exactly the way that person is looking into it. So it's very important to see that what can be done so that we can channelize our energy because we know that irrespective of whether we think or not, we are going to manifest whatever we are getting from the environment. So if we can channelize that thing, certainly then we can make a lot of difference. So in that, that five senses that we are having, if we can utilize them in the right way, then there is a very high possibility that we can visualize very effectively. And those five senses are how we can see, how we can smell, what we are hearing it, what we are feeling it, and what we are tasting it. With that, we can create a lot of difference the way we want to do it. And there are two very good popular techniques which we can use to channelize our visualization in the way we want. The first is meditation. We all know that throughout the day, there are more than 50,000 thoughts which are coming in our mind. We don't speak that much, but we think that much. And with that much of distraction, it's very difficult to channelize our visualization the way we want. But with the help of meditation, if we can slow down a little bit the number of thoughts that we are having, so that will make some sort of a gap between our reaction to response. And at that time, we can decide that how we can visualize the thing the way we want so that we can create a difference. And the second important thing is about self-talk. Now, there are very different ways in which people can do self-talk. But with positive affirmations, we can direct our thoughts to whatever we want to do. Many years back, there was a study that was conducted by the scientist wherein there were two set of people were there. For one set of people, they asked the people to actually play the piano for two hours for the next five days. And there was a second set of people who were told to just visualize that they are playing the piano for two hours, five days. But they are actually not playing the piano. So after the study was completed, when the brain cells were checked in both the set of group, actually the cells were gone exactly the same one set of people who were actually playing the piano and the second set of people who were just visualizing that they are playing the piano. So it's very important that mind is very subjective. It does not understand whether we are doing something really or something is done in a very subjective manner. So if we can train it in the right direction, then we can create a lot of difference. Well, Tony Johnson said very, very rightly when he said that where focus goes, energy flows. So it's up to us that how we are using this power of visualization. I am challenging every day and getting better and improving my power of visualization. What you are doing. I'm looking for your feedback. Thank you.